She has always marched to the beat of her own drum, and now world-renowned recording artist Sheila E. has a new single out, Funky National Anthem, Message to America. It is from her new album that's out in a few weeks, and guess what, guys? You can see her on stage tonight in downtown Detroit at the Ribs R&B Music Festival. It is such a pleasure and an honor to have the one and only Sheila E. right here with us at Broadcast House here in studio. Thank you for coming thank in this you. morning, Absolutely. waking up early and really just <laughs> making our day, just oh, having you here. You. How <laughs> are you? Welcome to Detroit. Thank you. I'm great. I'm glad to be here. I love Detroit. And you've been here. You've been here a lot. What do you love about Many, this city? Uh, it was the first time ever in my career I got booed off stage. <laughs> I love that you have a sense of humor about it. No, because really it's like, it wasn't my fault, but it's like the whole PA system went out. At, oh, no. And as soon as I, like right into the first song, the PA went out and all of a sudden you just hear boo, boo and I'm going, I'm trying to play and I'm trying to mouth to them. I'm sorry that, you know, so I come off stage and they've uh, half an hour, 45 minutes later, the, the PA came back on and Prince said, you don't have to go back out because they really booed me. And I said, I'm going back out there. I went and kicked butt and ever since they've been my friends I forever. I love it, I love it, they love you. And you are gonna be back on stage tonight at tonight's festival and yeah. talking about also your, your new album. Tell us about it. It's called Iconic and we decided to do songs from the 60s and the 70s mm -hmm. with lyrically with songs that are very relevant to the times we're in now and you look at it, and that's what part of that video is, Funky yeah. National Anthem, to show uh, what happened in the 60s and the 70s and now where we're in 2015, 16, 17 and things that have gone on. And so we want to bring people together through music. We can do that and just, you know, make change for the better. We have the power to change things, you know, but doing things and in and, and honor, even with, uh, I wanted to say Martin Luther King, uh, the estate and the family has mm -hmm. given me permission to use Dr. King's speech within that video. So wow. please watch the whole thing. And it really is a, a, a part of bringing people together. And as we continue, even the legacy of Dr. King of protesting in peace, you know, but together we can do it through peace and love mm -hmm. as opposed to fighting. And so let's do this together peacefully. Yeah, it's beautiful. And also just continuing to have a conversation. The conversation is so important. Whether we disagree, it's just having the conversation to hear each other's side and what we what we want to do and, and to understand and why I, I, I hate to to I don't want to promote division. We want to promote, you know, the diversity. America is diversity. This is what this country is about. Yeah. And I know we all know about your incredible percussion and drum skills. That's how things got started. When and how did you meet Prince? Uh, I met him in 77. He was performing for the first time. Mm -hmm. His record had just come out. No one knew who he was. Mm -hmm. And um, we were back. I went backstage to say hello to him. And um, he said to me, I've been following your career for a very long time. I've seen you play with George Duke, Herbie Hancock, all these people. And, and uh, so we exchanged numbers back then and became friends. And he just hung out. He loved the Bay Area. He went there to specifically to do his album, his first record. And what an influence and incredible friend to you too, right? Over your career. Yeah, and I was to him as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. it was a wonderful relationship. It really yeah. was, yeah. And so tell us about tonight. You are gonna be, you're gonna be on stage and what can we expect to hear? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> old songs, new songs, uh, of course a tribute to my friend Prince as well. Um, but people, I don't know, I, I always say, if you haven't been to a Sheila E. concert, you're in for a big surprise because it really is a lot of fun. It's high energy. It's emotional. We take you on a journey, you know, and I feed off the audience, you know. Yeah. It's a lot of audience participation. We bring people on stage. Um, I, if I can, go out to the audience, and um, we just have a great time, you know. We I go bet. on the journey together musically. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah. And again, speaking of the music, Iconic Message for America is the new album. It is out on September 1st, right? September 1st, absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. And what a treat. You get to go see her tonight, and you're going to be at the D Downtown Detroit Ribs R&B Music Festival. Again, it opens in just a little bit at 11 o'clock, but she's expected to hit the stage at 9.30 tonight. Ms. Sheila E., thank you so much. Thank it's you so really much. It's really been an honor. Thank oh, you so much for coming you. in. I appreciate it. Thank we'll you. be right back.